in these last days, you know, certainly in terms of, of the liturgical year, and if these were the last days, literally, of our life, of, of our world, I think how different, I, I would hope, uh, my attitude would be, and then hopefully yours, yours too, uh, along with me, that somehow there would be an urgency about our, our giving, about our generosity, that somehow there would be no concern, not even a question, that we would give to someone or to something beyond ourselves. And we wouldn't measure it, we wouldn't qualify it or quantify it. We would give all that we had, the, the full measure of our devotion, the full measure of our generosity. It's as if when St. Paul talks about how uh, in a, a major, you know, uh, <laughs> a kind of hyperbole, in reverse, uh, about how you have not yet resisted sin to the point of shedding blood. I haven't even come close. <laughs> in fact, I'm on the opposite end of the spectrum. You've heard that before. You know, I, I kind of actively seek out my temptations, and I, and I like them. Shedding blood for them? Are you kidding me? I'm, not, I'm, I'm light years away from that. And m maybe you are too. So, in these last days of our liturgical year, it's a good time for me, a good time for us to, our conscience that deals with, that does deal with generosity, because we have that example of, of the widow and that famous phrase of the widow's might. And she truly was mighty in her generosity, uh, literally giving everything that, that she had, uh, the, the full measure. And this feast of St. Andrew and companions, these incredible martyrs of Vietnam who represent thousands, literally thousands, of, of people in that country who did for the faith and really did give that full measure of devotion. So we need to suspend those questions. I do. I, I certainly do. I, I have to admit, I'd like someday to find myself in a position where I gave and it hurt, <laughs> where it would hurt the pocketbook, and, and, uh, and I had to struggle somehow.